Dear child of God, have you lost all the strength that you have? Have you come to that point that you are saying, I have no power of my own. I cannot any longer. I've come to the end of the line. I don't think I can go any further. Have you come to that point that you are saying, everything has not gone as I wanted them. Everything has not gone the way I planned them. And now, I'm giving up. Have you come to that point where you are saying, God, it is only by your strength I can be sustained. I cannot do it all by myself anymore. I want you to know that God will be there to help you. All power belongs to Him. All power in the heavens and all power in the earth. Dear child of God, the word of God had made us to know in Psalm 62 verse 11. He says, God has spoken once and twice have I heard this, that all power belongs to God. Dear child of God, that strength that you need, that power that you need, that ability that you need to come out strong, to scale through at the end of the day, belongs to God. And if you would only ask him, Lord, I need a percentage of that power. If you would only say to him, God, please come through for me and bestow the strength upon me. I know that I would fail if you do not assist me. I want to assure you, dear child of God, God will show up for you and he will do amazing things for you. David knew this. That was why he would always go to God and say to him, you are my strength. He knew that God would be that strength he needed in his life. He knew at the point his strength was failing, dear child of God, he knew that that moment when he was fainting, God will be his strength. He would say that God is his might. He knew that God is his ability. Dear child of God, when you have come to the end of yourself, remember that God is always there. God is ever there to be your strength, to be your sustenance. God is ever there to help you and to see you through. You see, Jesus would say that I can do nothing of myself. He knew that he needed also the strength of his father. Dear child of God, when you come to the end of the line, do not give up. When you get to the end of the line, do not think everything is over for you. Just rely on God and say, God, I know I am nothing without you. I know I cannot scale through the situation without you. I've done the very best I can and I've come to the end of myself. I need you to see me through. I want to assure you, dear child of God, God would most definitely show up for you. God will show up for you and make sure that He is your strength. He will show up for you and He will make sure that He amazes you so much by the things you would be able to accomplish at the end of the day. Remember the word of God in Isaiah 40 verse 31. He says that those that wait upon the Lord, He says they would renew their strength. He says they would mount up with wings as eagles. He said that they will run and not be weary. He says they will not faint. Dear child of God, if you are fainted, remember that God will be your strength. Remember that God will be your abilities. Remember that God will be your might. Remember that God will make you stronger. Dear child of God, God will strengthen you. God will strengthen your family. He has given you power. He has given you authority. And he wants you to know that those things that kept you down, you would trample upon them. He will give you a special strength and you would always rise above the occasion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do not let anything buffet you anymore. Just knowing that you have the power of Jesus, knowing that you have the might of Christ, do not let anything bring you down anymore. Just tell God, give me the special understanding to be able to utilize this power, to be able to utilize this might that you have given to me. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you would scale new height. You will keep going higher and higher and nothing will bring you down anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will give you that ability to achieve your pursuit in life. Yes, the strength that you need, knowing that it was not your power, but by the power of God. He says, not by might. He says, not by power, 
but by the Spirit of God. I pray that the things you begin to achieve today, you will know it was divine. You would know that it was by the grace of God that came upon you that you were able to achieve them. I pray for you that you will not fall. You will not fall before you get to your finish line in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not stop your journey halfway until you have reached the place of your prize, until you have gotten your crown. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will strengthen you. God will give you abilities to keep scaling on, to keep going on until the day has come, until the day of glory has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will help you, that wherever you are falling from, it would make sure it lifts you up and it will take you far above that point in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today you should know that the Lord is fighting against the enemies, the enemies against your soul, the enemies that doesn't want you to be glad, the enemies that are standing against you from you to receiving the blessings of God that were assigned to you. It says you have made them very glad, increasing their joy. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 3. God wants to increase your joy so that everything you are supposed to possess, everything you are supposed to get, everything that are supposed to be producing in your life should produce. Everything that are supposed to work in your life will begin to work. So stay and enjoy dear child of God. Hold on to your joy because the moment you lose your joy, there are spiritual activities happening around you. Yes, there may be crimes on the street, dear child of God. It may look as though there is an end to your delight, but do not allow your joy to go from you because the moment your joy goes away from you, the enemies will begin to have the upper hand. The word of God had made us to know that you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritualities and power and wickedness in high places. There are sometimes the same as though your heavens are closed. Dear child of God, there are spiritual activities happening around your life at this point. And this is what I want you to know. Sometimes it seems as though there are delays around you. That is because the things that are supposed to stand in front of the child of God is standing in front of you to hinder them from receiving what is meant for them, for their lives and for their families. And that was why when Daniel had prayed and spoken to God, the angel came to him and said for 20 and 1 days, yes, the angel, the witches, the enemies around your nation, the enemies of darkness withstood me. But your angel came to my rescue for 20 and 1 days. And then he returned back to him and said from the very moment you began to speak to God, from the very moment you sought for understanding, your answers came. Dear child of God, from that very day he began, his answers came. But the angels of darkness, the enemies against his soul, will tell these blessings. So when you notice, tell God today that he should renew your strength and release the host of heaven, the host of angels that are there to assist you, that are there to help you. They are called your spiritual aid. They are called the invaders. They will come and they would invade the devilish realm, the demonic realms, and everyone that has stood against you, against your blessings, the host of darkness that wanted to bring you down. The Lord God, through his angels, would make sure they are fallen. He would make sure they are brought down in the mighty name of Jesus. So he said, you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Dear child of God, those who are having flesh and blood around you may not be the real enemy, but those who you cannot see, the host, the wicked host, the demonic host from the devilish world, from the demonic world, arising against you, arising against your progress, arising against your health. And that is why it seems as though when you want to pray, you seem not to be able to pray because that is the next thing the Lord has said in his word. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. The moment you begin to lose your prayer consciousness, dear child of God, there are spiritual activities happening around you. And this is the third thing that you should note. Every time you discover there is some heaviness in your heart, and it seems as though the moment you want to approach God, the moment you want to go to God, 
the same as though they are hindrances, the same as though they are forces deterring you, the same as though you have some physical hands coming against you, pushing you back, suppressing you, you must know today that there are spiritual activities happening around you because the enemies know that when you speak to God, because the enemies know that when you speak to God, because the enemies know, dear child of God, that when you open your mouth and voice out to God the things that are in your heart, he will do them. He said, I will do the things that I hear you say. This is the word of God. He said, everything you say that come to my ears, I will do them. He says, why you yes speak it? He responds to them. And this is what I want you to know. The enemies will stop you from voicing those things out to God. The enemies will stop you from saying those things you are supposed to say to God. The enemies will stand on your path from saying those things that will be a blessing to your life. So what do you do? Tell the Lord to give you the strength to keep on speaking. Yes, they may want to shut you down. They may want to stop you from speaking. And when you notice this thing, there are spiritual activities happening around you. And you ought to make up your mind to keep speaking. Yes, they try to stop him. But he will keep yelling. He will keep shouting. He will keep speaking. He will say to Jesus, please help me. The man will keep on saying to Jesus. Yet, they will stop him. But he would not stop. They will stand against him. But he would not allow them to suppress his voice. And the Lord turned to him and told him, you would receive your sight. He was speaking so loudly. Dear child of God, you must know today that sometimes the enemies would want to shut you off. They want to stop you from saying the things that are connected to your breakthrough, the things that are connected to your liberation. So when you notice that you cannot speak to God anymore, because God listens when you speak to him, dear child of God. So they would want to suppress the things that you have to say because they know that when you speak to God, he will do what he hears you say. So when you are experiencing some limitations and you cannot voice these things to God, you cannot say some things to God, know that there are strange spiritual happenings around you, strange spiritual activities trying to suppress you from receiving your blessing. So tell yourself, I will not allow anything to stop me, to shut me off until God hears my cry, until God hears my prayer. The young man cried to God and God came through for him. So if you would cry to God today, God will come through for you. God will change your story. The woman with the issue of blood cried to Jesus and what she needed was to touch the ends of his garment. With your words, you can touch the arm of God's garment, of the garment of your Savior, of the garment of Yahweh, of the garment of the one who would provide for you every time you would ever be in need. And if you would tell God, please supply all that I need. If you would open your mouth, you would make sure the supplies that you need will come into your life. So these things are very important, dear child of God. And when you notice them, know that there are some spiritual happenings happening around you. There are spiritual activities going on within your vicinity and it is to stop your blessings. It is to stop your shine. It is to stop your breakthrough. The first is joy. It says when joy withers away, everything begins to wither. Nothing blossoms again. So tell the Lord, please increase my joy. Increase my joy every day. This is the word of God. In Philippians 4 verse 16, it says, Do not worry about anything. Do not be anxious about them. But with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, make your request known to God. So when you have joy, you will be able to make your request known to God. But sometimes the devil wants to steal your joy so that you'll be in an enmity with God. So it will seem as if you are fighting against God. So it will seem as if you are telling God is not good to me. So it will seem as if God is not caring for you. And this is why you begin to walk away from him and miss out on your blessings. So when you notice it seems as though your heavens are locked. Yes, the heavenlies are closed to you. It seems as if your prayers are not answered. It seems as though that the demonic host from the dark world is coming against you. Just ask God for the host of heaven, the angels on assignment, the angels that will struck the enemies down and they would come down. Just like the angel came to assist Daniel, such as the angel came and brought victories to Daniel, so would the Lord do for you. 
and your heavens will be open and all that you are supposed to receive you'll be able to receive them do not allow anything short you do not allow anything to stop you from speaking to god from letting him know the things you are going through from letting him know the things you are experiencing and i want to assure you that change that you seek that change you have been praying for that thing you want to experience you will see it and your joy will be full in the mighty name of jesus yes you may have become weak you may have become feeble right now because of the situations around your life yes the things buffeting you night and day there are some things that you were not expecting that happened to you dear child of god this is not the time to give up this is not the time to fall this is not the time to faint ask god for that strength that strength to stand again remember the word of god says that the righteous fall seven times yet they would rise again dear child of god you need to take your stand and tell God, please help me to rise again. Maybe you may have crashed because of some mistakes, because of some errors. And you're asking God today, please strengthen me. He says, even the youths shall faint and be weary. It says, and the young men shall utterly fall. And this may be happening to you right now. It was going to happen. Yes, the scriptures have stated it already. But he said it will be your strength. He said it would uphold you. It would hold you up. That was what God was saying when he said he would uphold you with his righteous right hand. Dear child of God, your story is not over yet. If you would only tell God, God, please, I need you to sustain me. If you would only tell God, I need you to see me through. I need you to assist me. I need you to take me off the situations I found myself. God, whom all power belongs to, will strengthen you. He will give you that special might. Dear child of God, it will give you that special ability and the things you would do, it will be unimaginable. Yes, you would not even believe them yourself. At a point in time, Paul the Apostle became very weak, but he knew something. He knew that the grace of God was sufficient. He knew that the grace of God would bring him might and power. And then he said, my grace is sufficient. God was speaking to him. He said to him, my grace is sufficient and he came to the acceptance of this truth and the moment he held on to the grace of god yes that might of god power came and even in his weaknesses he was perfected he received the might to stand and to keep going dear child of god you may have become frail right now just go to god and say lord strengthen me you know the situations around my life you know the things i've had to face night and day you know the situations that befell my household you know the things that happened to me but lord i need your might i need your power i need your special ability come to your mighty works in me i want to assure you dear child of god you will see the power of god you'll see the might of god you'll see the strength of god come upholding you and you would have reasons to testify you would have reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of jesus christ at a point, he went to God and was complaining. What the Lord told him, he said to him, My grace is sufficient for you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, it says, For power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. It says, So that the power of Christ may dwell in me. I say the power of God. I say the power of Jesus coming to reside within you to give you the ability to keep moving on until you reach your finish line, until you reach your goal, until you get everything that is supposed to be yours. Maybe you are saying, Lord, I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. You are the one God wants to be of help to. God understands and he wants to strengthen you. He wants you to have your testimony at the end of the day when you'll be able to say, when I was weak, God came through for me and strengthened me. When I became feeble, God came through for me and upheld me. And if it seems as though you are still finding yourself on the ground, just dust yourself and tell yourself, I know as the word of God have said, that the righteous will rise again. I'm rising again and I'll have a perfect rise in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I'll be more than a conqueror. I'll be more than an overcomer. That everything that buffeted me in the past, from today, I would have victories. I would have victories over each and every one of them. The things that made me to sorrow, the things that made me to cry, I would have victories over each and every one of them. And I want to assure you, God will do this. He will make it a possibility in your life. And you would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to be glad. In Jesus' mighty name, don't give up on yourself because God has not given up on you. Dear child of God, please do not give up on yourself because God has not given up on you. And your story shall be great indeed at the end of the day. In Jesus' mighty name, may the Lord see you through and strengthen you until you reach your goal. In Jesus' name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.